Well, hello, my friends. I am so excited to be here with Sandy Spady. She is the CEO for the Power Up Leadership Coaching and founder of Women With Voices. Sandy, thank you so much for joining me. It's so great to see you. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I just I love your TV program and I'm excited to share all this greatness yeah. happening. Yes, yes. Um, you know, and I've just gotten to know more about what you do. And we're also going to talk about the voices um live your why. Um the women with voices live your why, the summit that's coming up later um on June 20th, and also talk about the nomination process going on. But first, let's talk a little bit about Women with Voices, um, what is it and, and who does this organization serve? This just organically started, right? Two years ago, it was, you know, shortly um, after the pandemic and so many amazing women opened up to me and just have shared amazing stories and overcoming amazing stories. And I look at them and I'm like, you are an, a successful attorney. No one would ever guess that, Right. And I said, we need to share those stories. You know, people look at you and they're like, I could never be like her. I could never be successful. But the truth is we've all had our journeys, right? And it's those journeys that need to be shared. So, you know, women don't feel alone and they feel they can also get out of whatever they're stuck in yeah. and be unstoppable. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I love, it. I mean, you said two years ago after the pandemic um, or as it was, you know, kind of as we're cycling out of that um you started this and but what when you when I ask you what inspired you to organize um this I mean you, you talked a little bit about that but let's talk a little bit about your journey briefly what inspired me is that I was getting ready to write a book and just circumstances put it out there that I wasn't able to produce it and launch it and that really just sparked a fire in me that mm -hmm. I wanted others to have a voice because I can't really share my voice in certain avenues in my life. And that just really sparked that fire that I want to have a platform for women if they're able to share their story. And working at the Greater Omaha Chamber for the last five years, when I moved to Omaha, I had such great connections and community of wonderful hospitality that I knew also after the pandemic were struggling. So I wanted to bring together the hospitality, bring, you know, people into their establishments to showcase their establishments. And then also they are so good to me with my relationships and community, you know, community yeah. to platform my speakers. And I cannot say enough how important connections and communities are in a small, big town like Omaha. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree 100%. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how people can get, in, how women can get involved with um, with you, but let's go and talk about the summit that's coming up on January 20th. This is the second year? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. And this it's is a pretty big day. It's a full day. It yeah. is a full day. When I was sitting in Stories Coffee two Octobers ago with one of my community um, board members with my One With Voices, it was a really cold day that day. And I said, oh, winter, it's starting. And it's such a long winter, you know, for Nebraskans, we're used to that. Yeah. And I looked at her and I said, I feel like our women deserve to have a full day. Mm -hmm. And I know in January... A lot of us after the 20th, we have lost our goals, right? We're gonna lose weight. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, budget our our, our our you know our income and 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 do all these big goals. And then by the end of the January, we're just like, oh, I didn't yeah. do it. And we get down on ourselves. And I'm like, let's take that away. Let's have it at the after the 20th, you know, the 21 days of habits. Yeah. yeah. And let's start over and let's have a full day of powerhouse community leaders that come in to inspire us. And then we'll have shopping, we'll have dancing, happy hour, just make it a full day to re-kick our year. Yeah, I love that. And that's that. how it began. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I mean, you're so, yeah, you, you get all, you're all pumped up and you're ready to go. And then things just, life, it's almost like life happens and you're back to work and family and, and next thing you know, 
it's the end of January and you kind of forgot about what you what you said you were going to do for yourself um, this year. So, all right. So again, it's on the 20th. Um, give us kind of the logistical things, like when does it start and where is it at? It's at the Granary, at the venues at the Granary in Ralston. Right. It's, it's a new establishment. I, I think, it, you know, three, four years old. Great parking, right? I've done events my entire yeah. life. So I want great parking, especially in January. And it's just beautiful inside. So it starts at 8 a.m. in the morning. At 8 a.m., we'll have shopping for an hour. Let everyone come and kind of mingle a little bit. Thanks to Stories Coffee, my sponsor, they're going to fill us up full of caffeine. And then we'll start and we'll kick off the program. I'm going to open up with the keynote speech. And then I have Michelle Hurt with our favorite friend oh. uh, from Chair. Her hope yes. she's going to be the, the, the opening keynote speaker. Wonderful. And then. In between breaks, we will have two panels of amazing women that are speaking. We have the entrepreneurs, and then we have mind, body, and soul. Okay. And each category will be an open question forum that you can have the opportunity to ask these questions from these amazing women that are just kicking ass, right? And we get to ask them questions. And then we have a great um, two lunch sponsors that are going to inspire us as we feed our faces, right? we got to fill our tummies up. Yep. And then we have more shopping. And then we're going to end with another keynote uh, speaker, Tracy Wrinkler with Elevate. And we're just going to elevate the whole day. It's going to be a great day of just inspiration and friendships and connections. Well, who is this for? I mean, obviously it's for women, but who is this? Who is this for? In your in your in your words. Yes. This is for any woman that wants to do more, be more, and have the inspiration to do it. After our last summit, I had 89 text messaging from other people that have attended, and they're all telling me, please do this again. I met great friends at my table of eight that were strangers by the beginning of the morning. And then they just have long lasting relationships. And that's what's great. It's building those connections. And one story I'd love to share with you during last year's summit, at the end of it, this beautiful gal walked up and she was all dressed up. And I knew she was like really proud of herself, right? You can feel it. Yeah. And she said, What do you think of my dress? And I said, Your dress is awesome. Like you look really great. And she looked at me and she said, I want you to know I just stumbled on your event on Eventbrite. And she said, for the last year, I've been struggling with suicide. And today's the first day that I got my makeup on, fixed my hair and dressed up. And she was like holding back tears. I was holding back tears. And she's like, you gave me hope in women that were not all bad and that their support from other women. And she's like, just thank you so much. And she hugged me. Things wow. like that are worth it, right? All the work, all the planning, you know, begging for sponsorships, all the work. When you get a story like that, that's going to change someone's life is worth it. And and like when we when we chatted, you know, before before this um, interview is really, you know, women supporting women. And a lot of times that just doesn't happen. And I know your goal, I mean, one of the things you're passionate about is women supporting women and connecting women. And you do such a great job at that. And this event is just another way to bring women together. And like you said, form friendships with people that we that we don't know. I mean, we're so busy, we don't even, I mean, I'll speak for myself, I don't often have time to go and connect with other people um, in a setting that you know, is safe and nurturing and, um, and we're there just to celebrate each other. Yes. And another thing that I just find in the last two years, we just had our two year anniversary bash that we have the last year speakers come and speak yeah. of what they got out of it. And what is so amazing as I sit there listening to them is that they all just had so much more confidence, right? Yeah. The confidence of your voice and that they want to do more. They want to write books. They want to take the stage and public speak. They, I've had three people from last summit that said after the summit that they started their own business because they oh had goodness. support. Wow. Yes, yeah, support from other women. And that's that's worth it all. Absolutely. Well, let's go back and talk about women with voices. Um, and I know you meet once a month. 
-hmm. Yeah. Talk about that. Cause I mean, for women watching this, how can they be, get involved in, in what you do? We have an event the third Monday of the, of the month, and it's always 5 30 to 7 30 PM. And we have a speaker or we have a panel of speakers, depending on the month and what's happening to support. And this year I'm going to toss up a little something different. And once a month, we're going to bring in a nonprofit that that speaker cares about. You and I both, we love nonprofits, right? Yeah. My entire yeah. life, I've either volunteered yeah. or, you know, I just love them and they need awareness. Yes. Yeah. And this year, we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to speak with the speakers. They're like, where's your heart? Is it, is it animals? Is it the elderly? Is it the homeless? And if it's something that they love to share, let's bring them in. So it's going to be once a month on a Monday, and we're going to bring in a nonprofit per month to showcase them too. Well, um, we'll go back and tell people how they can learn more about that. But I don't want to forget, we did talk about this, um, nominating a woman for your summit. So I know nominations um, go through the 15th of January. So tell us about that. And, and what does that mean? And how can we nominate a woman? Yes. Everyone's been inspired, right, from that woman. Mine was my eighth grade home ec teacher, my cheer coach. She still to this day just gave me that ump that made me want to do more. And so this year I said, all of us have that one, two, three people, that it, woman that has inspired me, supported me, helped me, made me take that leap for change. And so I said, let's have woman of the year. Let's have a nomination and let's just showcase her, right? Yeah. Let her be at the front table and spoil her and showcase her. Because we sometimes as women, we don't acknowledge ourselves. So we need others to do it for us. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many women out there that I know have impacted us, impacted us all. So, all right. So nomination. So let's talk. Okay. Let's go back. We've got a, we've got like two minutes left. Let's talk about the, the summit. Where can we get tickets at? Where can we go nominate? I have my power up leadership coaching and consulting website. So it's power up by Sandy.com. And we have a page just for the summit 2024. Okay. You can get yep. tickets. We have a few tickets left. I think we have just maybe five vendor tables left. And okay. then if you'd like to be a sponsor of a table, you can be a sponsor and have, I tell people, have your, your table of your favorites or your favorite clients and get to know them better. Yeah. So there's three opportunities with tickets, sponsorships, and vendors. So it's powerupbysandy.com. Okay. And I'm actually, I'm glancing over here because I'm looking at your website right now, right here. So you can go there, um, get tickets. Um, is there a nomination? I'm going to go to the summit. Yes. There's a place to nominate there as well. Um, yes. Yeah. And you can look at all the speakers. This is great. There's lots of great information and your sponsors. But again, um, taking sponsorships up through when? If somebody... 15th. Okay. So the 15th as well. So, Okay. Uh, and then let's go back and just your monthly meetings again, your website. I mean, you have so much information, so you've got a, a tab here, women with voices where people can find out about that. Um, and you know, these pictures that you take at the, at the, at your meetings, your monthly meetings, they're so fun. I mean, they're so much fun and, uh, just encourage women. Do you, do, does it cost to come to these events? Does it, Yes. And the, what I tell my women is that when they find the courage to speak, I want to, to have the memories of that. So our tickets are $25. It okay. pays for our photographer. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. I, I'm such a believer in, you know, being in chambers and, and, and marketing and advertising that a photo just is seals the memory. And so I, and I tell my women too, with social media, if you want to take some headshots or some social shots, grab the photographer because he's here for us. Yeah. So that's where that cost then for that. And then I was going to say, we can also find us. We have a public woman with voices page to show the events yes. and showcase speakers. And then we have a private Facebook group and then a public Instagram group. So follow okay. us and just join our journey. Well, Sandy, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, again, the website is powerupbysandy.com. I'm sure it's right here at the bottom of the screen as we're talking about it. And uh, encourage everybody to go there uh, January 20th. Do you sell out? Will this event sell out? 
It sold out last year. We are very, like I said, okay. we only have five vendors left and I do not, we're at 92%. Okay. So there's still a chance. Get in there, ladies. Yep. Yeah. So, yes. All right, Sandy, thank you so much. I've just really enjoyed getting to know you better, you know, this year and also getting to know about this, what, what you're doing. So you are inspiring. Absolutely, my friend. So, and I just want to say thank you for joining me today. Thank you. And you inspire me as women, right? We inspire each other and that's what's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.